Hello everyone, I'm John with the Sacramento History Museum and today I'm here to teach you about a fantastic game, the true Gold Rush Gambling game, the game that was played by Wider, Bat Masterson, Doc Holliday, that is Pharaoh. It's like, so let's get started. Now the way that Pharaoh works is that you're betting on what the ne next rank of the card is that I'll be pulling out of the deck. The ranks of the cards go from King all the way down to Ace. Now our gambler will go ahead and put down any amount of money he wants on these cards here. And so he's putting down two is a, of our wooden nickels here on the six. If I pull the six out for the winning card, that means he's going to win two more wooden nickels. Now for the first part of the game, you pull the top card out and you show it to all of the players. And then you're going to put it over here. One interesting thing about Pharaoh is that you actually show all the cards that you've already dealt. And then you're going to pull two more cards out of the deck. The first card is the losing card. So any money that is on this losing card here is the money that goes straight to the dealer. And then you have the winning card, the second card. Any money that is on the winning card goes straight to the player. Now those two wooden nickels were on the losing card, so I'll be taking those. And our gambler is free to go ahead and make another bet. All right, now he's going to be putting four of the wooden nickels here right on the ace. And he's also going to be putting one, two, three, four, Five, six wooden nickels on the two. You can make multiple bets in Pharaoh. That's not a problem. So, well, four was the losing card on this bet, and ace was the winning card. So I owe our gambler four more wooden nickels. Now, we're going to be doing one more bet, and we got two as the losing card and two as the winning card. When you get a card that is the same in rank as the for the losing card and the winning card, that means the, the dealer will be taking half of whatever the bet is. So I'll be taking three wood nickels since there's six there. Now we're going to skip ahead a bit. The game goes on until you've reached the end of the deck. And once you've reached that point, you're going to be down to the last three cards. And it's at that point that the gamblers will be betting on what will the sequence be of the three cards as I pull them out of the deck. So the cards that I would be pulling out would have been nine, nine, and an ace. So if a gambler had, correct, had gone ahead and correctly guessed that I'd be pulling a nine, a nine, and an ace out, I would then be having to pay them two times over for each guess. All right, now I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video. If you did, please come and visit us sometime at the Sacramento History Museum.